commented on a tribute to a clockwork orange. Nah, Groundhog Day is still a better and meaningful film to spend time on. Nobody asks them how. Hello friends, welcome back to MK. My name is Jack, the snack that smiles back. It's time for something that you ironically asked for, it's nobody asked. Nobody asked, uh, asked, asked, r slash nobody donkey, let's go. Nobody needs to know that in a back room's YouTube comment section. Ah, oh, creepy neutral colors in infinite rooms. That reminds me. By smegsuality is a romantic attraction, smegsual attraction or smegsual behavior toward both males and females or to more than one gender. It may also be defined to include romantic or smexual attraction to people regardless of their smex or gender identity, which is also known as pansmexuality. Wikipedia. Ah, uh, you know us white fluffy dogs. We see a bunch of rooms with flat tones, and we just can't help but question who we want to bang. Thank you, Otto, for your contribution. What say you? Two have to go forever. But how else am I meant to achieve diabetes? I have banned all of them already. I plan on living fit till a hundred, so only fresh ketogenic food and fasting will do for me. Look how smug I am squishing my face in the profile picture. Mm. Not gonna get any mid shot of me. Extreme close-ups only. Let's just remember, people. This food is only bad for you because of the quantity of it we have. Yes, I do say this as someone who does say they'll eat only half the pizza, but eats an entire two pizzas and then feels bad. Welcome to r slash proper animal names. Here we have flightless bats. Aw, one of them's giving me stink eye. No, armadillo! Don't do it! Don't share your opinion! Not trying to offend anyone, no! but hairless cats and dogs creep me out to the point that I wouldn't be comfortable being around one for an extended period of time in a real life. Look, Armadillo, that person shaved their legs. <coughs> My sister and I listened to this for an hour. <laughs> well, it seems like she is better than you in every way. Wh what? Why? Ow! I don't know what's gonna hurt this person more. The general insult or the accurate deduction they're able to make based off one comment on the internet. This is totally unrelated. Then don't tell us. Oh, don't, um, don't, don't, don't do it. Well, but you said you wouldn't. Don't. But my first response to my newborn brother was to bite him. Vampire. We've got another vampire. No. Get the stairs. Get no. him. People who won one million in lottery. Oh boy, I am not prepared for this financial bukkake. I believe in you. People born with blue eyes. <laughs> Someone with blue eyes, give me the million. I got blue eyes with blonde hair and still got no friends and I am an introvert. Ooh, reality. Spinal implants allowing paralyzed people to walk again. I thought faith healers had this covered, said Maya Nobroso, tissue distributor. No, no, no. It's a common misconception. But faith healers are merely shooting vapors of coffee into their followers, giving them a little kick of energy to stand up straight. That's it. That's the science. But please, fellow stranger on the internet, tell me your input. I'm so bored in class. Oh. We analyzing a Raphael painting where some guy is touching some lady's boob. Sir, that is Poon Hub. Oh. Notice. You are still allowed to enjoy or be a fan of DMSP members. You shouldn't be bullied off a YouTube channel you enjoy. Thank you for the support. I'm dating my cousin. I retract my statement and now side with those who bullied you. Just looking at stocking reviews to match an outfit and I guess I forgot what some people wear them for. Four star sultry edition for date night. I write a lot of reviews. <laughs> Who says this on an Amazon review? Yeah, I'm a pretty big deal. I write reviews on the internet. <laughs> Must be my obsessive personality. I wasn't gonna write this one, but Amazon has a way of making me want to get it done. This is someone who has a very questionable relationship with their Alexa. So I bought it for my wife. Really for me. Hell yeah, man. You can wear stockings if you want. You do you. Seriously, did you, did you not proofread your own review? She's my girl. Steal that hot young thing. I'm married 25. Five years ago. How romantic! A thing. She kind of rolled her eyes at the product, but she wears them for me every now and again. And she looks great in a skirt and high heels when we go out. Look, assuming these people are in their late 30s and up, in a way it's kind of sweet to see that their relationship has still got this little spice in them. Hotel breakfast eggs tend to be rather bland, since they don't put a lot of salt or pepper in them. This is because they don't know who might have to regulate their sodium intake or have other issues related to such things. So, 
They leave it up to the guests to grab the complimentary salt and pepper packets to season their own breakfasts to their individual tastes and needs. It's not that our three-star motel chain can't afford a genuine chef, it's because we care about you. In all honesty though, that sounds like a genuinely smart business strategy. One time I put ketchup on my hotel eggs and all I could taste was the ketchup and the ketchup was gross. Never again will I put ketchup on my hotel eggs. Now look, what I'm gonna say is gonna sound kind of racist, but I'm very confident it's legit. This comment was made by a white person. Now, now I'm right to say this because this is genuinely how I flavor things. <laughs> Something tastes bland. What was spices? What's that? Nah, mate, tomato sauce, yeah! It's fine! Tomato's a vegetable, it's good! I'm Putinius de Putins. Sounds awfully French. It's a Roman slash Portuguese name. Also, I'm very proud to say that my family tree has zero French people in the four generations above me. Ooh, where are you going with this? And I only say four because I never care to look above that, but I'm quite sure there are no French in my blood. Just for the trolling, I really hope the fifth generation was all French. I know this is tan gen genitalia, but I had some questions on Tinder. Besides being attractive, what can you do to increase match rate? Well, pictures are by far the most important factor. Okay, so I should focus more on the aesthetic look that I'm bringing, of course, and I'm apparently intimidatingly good looking. Uh, uh, the last okay. five girls I've gone out with have directly said this unprompted, but my photos <laughs> are average. Is this advice or a flex? It would seriously be worth hiring a photographer. Oh no, don't be one of those people. I'm currently getting in insane shape, and when my body is peaked, I'm going to have a photo shoot just shirtless, holding a puppy and kissing an old granny on their head, lol. Notice how he never mentioned anyone saying he had a good personality. Hey bro, you're not getting laid because you're hot, you're getting laid because you're easy. 7 minutes and 42, in our timeline, Russia sold Alaska to the US so the British wouldn't invade Alaska, since they had a rivalry at the time. I think the comic is implying Russia lost Alaska to the British in the alternate timeline. I'm from Indonesia. Trimic should work at Epic Games. For real. Five minutes late. 100% for ra. My mom said if I get 200 likes on my recent, she will buy me my dream iPad. Looking for a place to rent for me and my partner. We are looking for a three bedroom house or apartment with air conditioning and a bathtub. Around this area, we both work two jobs. I work in healthcare and partner works in hospitality and as a butcher. Again, looking for a place to rent. If you have any recommendations, please comment. I was a butcher for 18 years. The best day was when I changed careers, built labor and then truck driver. I don't think that's what Julia was asking. Excuse me, I'm trying to passively criticize their partner's job choices. So rude. Bro, will you let Mike know I'll be in a little late today? I'm running a little late. <laughs> no problem. I hope he doesn't end up asking why I was late. <laughs> no, he said it was fine. Still at the girl's house who I met from Tinder. Yep, just get here when you can, man. Thinking of leaving soon. Think my work here is done. Well done, you put your willy in something. Victor last night. Uh, and this morning. Is this like your first time or something? And just now. <laughs> Which is why I'm late. Carlo me shocked that you slept with someone you met on Tinder. Wow. From finding love or friendships in Tamriel that lasts a lifetime to scouting and creating the most romantic locations in game. This Hearts Day, we're shining a light on you. The community. Come together for this romantic day. Oh, not, not like that. No. Meh. I never had anyone. All I feel is hatred. Hated Valentine's Day because I've been a loner. And the fact that everyone has someone to be with outside the family except me. I don't want to be judgmental, but I'm very confident the way they woo someone is, please, please, I'll be nice to you. In a thread about how Beyonce was the only singer on the DC track Jumpin' Jumpin' with three likes? What? Um, I'm sure I do know what digital remastering is, and oh, these three girls are not talented. Triangles, heads, d -d 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 girls. Gosh, I love being a makeup artist, even on cyber dolls, and yes, the skin faces were sent in by the Supreme Court of the United States of America. America, and I did touch up makeup industry because you're not allowed to put makeup on dead bodies, but digital cyber dolls, yes, it's different. What, what the, the hell, hell are you saying? saying? It is literally on a joke subreddit. Why do we call the aliens creating the pyramids a conspiracy theory? Because it's obviously a pyramid scheme. Um, actually, that's not what a pyramid scheme is. I know, because I fall for them. Funny thing is that in my survival Minecraft world, I'm building a pyramid that goes from bottom to sky limit, and I 
literally called it pyramid scheme. <laughs> Don't talk to artists like this, please. Hey, can I calm you? Sure. Yes, I'm willing to pay zero dollars. I can promo your account as payment. That's not how this works. I am sending a pipe bomb to your house. Just a casual threat of destruction of property and safety of living. I've had more painful fate than a pipe bomb. I am very certain you have not. It hurts, but I'm used to it. Oh, I'm sorry. I was entirely mistaken. You drew a picture that uh, I... I could only imagine what you've been through. I'm sorry about your cat, but we all just wanted to watch a video about a cute possum eating a blackberry. I look at the fluffy possum, I can see the back. It looks kind of like a man's head. <laughs> Someone's slightly bald in there. I mean, this one is cute, but my cat got eaten by a possum and he was a baby. No offense to you. Oh, uh, sorry, folks. We're going to shut this whole internet and cuteness down because someone's animal died from another animal. On a potato soup recipe. All right, potato soup, let's go. Yesterday, my four-year-old daughter, Valentine, came rushing into the room room with blood all over her face. Since she wasn't screaming in pain, we quickly realized it was just a nosebleed. But still, that much red is enough to make you panic. I started yelling at Eric. Look up what to do for a bloody nose! But then I realized he had already dialed his mother's phone number. <gasps> the scandal! So I actually know why they do this. They purposely leave the recipe almost down at the bottom of the page. So that way you scroll through past all the ads and therefore they get revenue. All this story stuff is just jargon and fluff to let them put ads on their page and stop you clicking away so immediately. The, the more, more you, you know. know. Yay, reality court shows. The true motivation for Thanos. Just opened my eyes after a long night of sleep. The first thing I saw was this beautiful woman. Her ex-fiance was suing her. Oh my gosh, what the hell is wrong with him? I wouldn't care what she did. She needs to be treated like a princess. A very beautiful princess. Well, as opposed to an ugly princess? What's the... <laughs> I would have given her whatever she wanted wanted. Such a lovely person. Send me a message, princess. Oh, nothing more romantic than a man fawning over a woman purely based on her physique. He's not just lonely and horny, no! Bro, are you high? Maybe or maybe not. <laughs> wow. No, I'm just really depressed. You have one hour to eat all of this. Who do you choose to help? Hey, Lucy, who are you gonna get to help? We're excited to hear it. I wouldn't even attempt it. I can barely right. eat because of everything that's gone on. Yeah. <laughs> I hate falling in love. Oh, Never okay. Never do it again. That's Stay not- Stay single and you nope. won't get your heart broken. That's not what we're looking for. Who else is excited? Come on. Anniversary dinner at Texas Roadhouse. The rolls never disappoint. Oh, congrats, Cookie. Well, I can't afford the 30 to $40 steaks. Wish we can get the brainiacs in government and economics to really want to fix inflation. It's not hard. It's just not favorable politics. But it's about votes and power and not the well-being of the citizens. How does it help the poor? This is someone's response to an anniversary dinner post. That's great you had this evening with your partner, but what about me? Kind of getting tired of living through historical events. Well, next one will be a meteorite. I assure you, you won't live through that. Yay! I empathize with you. Apparently, one of my mistresses is pregnant. <laughs> and I, I don't come through with more money. She's going to tell my wife about this. My other girlfriend has an STI. Now I have to go for tests. On a post about the chicken Big Mac being out of stock in the UK. Again, about a chicken Big Mac being out of stock in the UK. What do you think someone is going to bring up in the comments? Let's get this pity party started. I was devastated when I buried my three beautiful babies in the ground. That's devastation. People devastated about a burger are obviously very shallow and have never suffered real devastation. A yes to this. Bless you. The world is way too shallow now. Hey, that's a great Australian movie. I think you went a bit too deep there. <laughs> Irony. Yeah, I sincerely hope you get help because this level of oversharing and being unable to distinguish a joke from seriousness is concerning, to say the least. And a daily reminder never to post photos of open shoes. All I can focus on is those beautiful, thick, meaty toes. Oh. I would rather focus on those soles and toes smothering my face. <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton was just 23 years old when he discovered the universal law of gravity. He also died a virgin. Wow! Poor Newton. If I had a time machine, I'd send my ex back in time to fix that. She'd rock his world. Because she was a freak who would do whatever anyone wanted her to do. History would probably be destroyed too. Especially because she is an idiot! Although a hot idiot! And would reveal the time machine to him and give that to him too! She's so hot! I hate her! 
so hot, hate her. After six years, teeth start falling out. 10% of Americans aged between 50 to 64 have no teeth. That's not true. Human can keep his teeth forever, even without brushing them. That is an importantly stupid point, but before we get to that, my mom is a witch and my dad is a dog. They always mate together and I have 103 siblings. What? Here we have a man petting a fish. The guy is Turkish and he is saying, you're a smart boy. Yes, you are. Good boy. Oh, my master is a good boy and he's in a forever contract with me. <laughs> what the frick? Hello, you spicy meatball. It's time for some fan art and today's work is by Gold Poopy Scoopy. <laughs> the gold poopy scoopy. I love your names. These are. <laughs> Hello, mortals. Try not to stare at this magnificent art piece I've made for you all. I love you. Yes. Admire its well done shading. Whoa, it's actually kind of tripping me out. Whoa. It's like 3D, dude. Thank you for your artwork, the gold poopy scoopy. <laughs> I hate you. I hate it. And if you'd like to also destroy me with your ridiculous usernames and post your artwork, do so in the MK subreddit. That is, of course, the end of today's fun. Hope you enjoyed yourself. As always, please support the channel by liking this video. If you're not subscribed, do so and click that notification bell because we upload on the daily here. If you'd like to say hello to me, do so by checking me out in the link in the description below. But otherwise, my name has been Jack. You've been a wonderful person to ramble with today, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.